Hi, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Suzanne Eid and I'm a member of the VTC committee and co-host for this workshop. Saigon South International School is honoured to be hosting the ninth annual Vietnam Tech Conference in collaboration with UNIS Hanoi. And it's my honour in behalf of VTC committee to introduce Jonathan Cowling, who will talk to us about 2021 initiatives and learning experiences and streaming resources in the upcoming workshop. So Jonathan has a passion for ed tech and helping schools to reduce stress and admin time with innovative software solutions. With previous experience in leading global tech companies, he knows that software has to accommodate the changing needs for parents, students, staff, and other members of staff. So please um, welcome Jonathan Cowling. Thank you. Thank you so much, Suzanne, really appreciate it. Um, what I'm gonna quickly do now is to share my screen if uh, you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. And we are presenting. Okay, so uh, thanks everyone for being here. I just want to check with Suzanne. Can you see my screen? Can you see the first? It's just loading currently, so I can't see it yet. Jonathan, I'll let you. Right, we can see it now. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. No worries. Uh, Thank you, everybody, and thank you, uh, Suzanne, for the very warm welcome, and welcome to uh, the Faria update online lessons with Managerback. So, obviously, everyone knows um, with the recent, uh, you know, upheaval in international education, um, we certainly have to make a couple of changes to accommodate uh, that. So, first of all, I'd just like to introduce uh, one of, uh, sorry, the moderator will be helping me with the end, um, Adam Morris, who uh, will be joining Faria in August as a Technology Integra Integrations Director, and he will be helping with um, the Q&A at the end. Hi, so, everyone. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> um, so basically, the agenda for today is to talk, uh, first of all, about Faria updates. So how we've kind of moved with the times, uh, you know, with remote learning, with uh, assisting students, parents, the whole school community, um, with navigating these recent changes. Then I'll talk about online learning uh, in Managed Back, uh, delivering remote lessons through Zoom integration or other uh, video conferencing, including uh, Google Meet, et cetera. Um, and then an important one is the lesson experience and the presentation mode, right? So getting it right, um, number one, so that parents can view um, what is about to be taught. And then of course, easily, um, so for teachers to e easily create those lessons and then of course to deliver them and for students to be able to communicate with teachers during these online lessons. Another launch we've had is key chat so effective real time discussions where perhaps if students are a bit shy they can easily interact. Another important thing we've um, added this year is the version two of assess prep um, so that's online assessments um, and I'll talk very briefly about that. Um, and you can see exactly how these online systems, uh, online assessments can assist your school. Last of all, I'll go through a live demo um, of actually going through and showing you what an online lesson looks like um, as a student and then, of course, as a teacher. Um, and then we'll have a Q&A Q at the end if anyone wants to ask questions. What I will say is that Managed back is quite a big system, right? So we obviously deal with the DP, MIP, PYP, C1, etc. Um, and if you would like to have a um, a more comprehensive view of the system, please reach out to me. Um, my email will be at the end um, of the slide, or you can reach me on this uh, conference, uh, and we can I can then go through and show you. This will be a brief overlook, right, of introducing you to Faria, uh, introducing you to our uh, learning management system manage back and then give you a very quick uh, view of what an online lesson looks like um, on the actual system. So just do note that, of course, it does everything from attendance, reporting, uh, curriculum planning, etc. Um, but today we'll be focused on some brief updates and then online learning. So moving ahead, what I wanted to touch upon is the Faria story, right? So it's very important to basically get uh, to get to know us, right? So from where we've came from, uh, our journey along the way, and then where we are now. Um, so we started in 2006 
as a cash manager, right, for the DP. Um, and then through those five years to 2011, where we reached 1,000 schools, uh, we continue with growing and supporting the DP uh, program. Along the way, uh, we saw a need for uh, paperless admissions and an online admission system. Um, and we created Open Apply basically to support our uh, current managed back schools, right? Uh, we then went on and, and kept growing um, into four, 5,000 schools. Then in 2019, we acquired uh, Schools Buddy, which uh, does activities management, online payments, transport, and more. Uh, and then, of course, Atlas for um, in 2018 for uh, curriculum learning platforms. Um, and then, of course, Pomoja, which was a huge um, game for us, just allowing uh, online learning service to be integrated into ManageBack. So the story is we grew, you know, as, as a very small team, as a very um, dedicated but specialized product. And along the way, through organic growth, um, such as Open Apply and strategic acquisitions, such as Schools Buddy, um, we then grew into this company where in 2021, we're launching Faria One, right? So that's basically best in breed um, cross, cross department solution, right? So what does that mean, best in breed? Well, we think that a lot of larger systems um, do try um, to do a lot of things, but only at 60 to 70% of capacity, right? So best in breed means that, for instance, for Open Apply, we saw exactly what schools needed as we're doing paperless uh, curriculum management. Um, and then we moved into paperless admissions uh, and made that perfect, right? Same as Schools Buddy, we saw they were doing really well um, and it just made sense to join teams. So rather than doing too many things um, and, and building, you know, kind of an, on a flat, um, it's better to, you know, concentrate on uh, specialized products. And of course, they all now integrate with each other, giving you really good functionality. So next is kind of launching. So you, you saw we started as managed back, right? Well, cash manager, then managed back, and now we've got a range um, of solutions, right? So basically what we can do is from admissions, right? The student journey, the applicant, uh, you know, perhaps filling out a, a form on your website, all the way through to the child sitting in uh, the classroom, perhaps even remote learning um, through managed back and Atlas Next. And then, of course, going through after school activities, parent teacher conferences, transport and payments with Schools Buddy, right? So, we're really trying to um, have a holistic view of helping uh, the family, right, uh, to manage everything at, at the school. And then, of course, your staff members um, to decrease admin time and just make effective decisions uh, with the data they have. So, we have a number of products. I won't go too much into this, but uh, as I said, Manage Background right, has various um, LMS capabilities through from curriculum planning all the way to portfolio attendance and report cards. And then of course, Open Apply, as I've spoken about, Schools Buddy, Activity Online Payments, uh, Trip and Event Management and Parent Teacher Conferences. So do get in touch with us if you, if you have any needs or you wanna find out more about Fire One. Um, it's a pretty exciting thing that we're doing um, and it really does concentrate on keeping your school community engaged and happy. So let's talk about online lesson, right? So a lot of schools at the moment, a lot of teachers, right? It's kind of been this thing where you've got to upskill, right? You've got a uh, you know, steep learning curve, suddenly everyone's at home um, or you're doing blended learning, right? So um, that can be even more problematic where you do have to blend online with face-to-face -face learning. Um, and what we've done as a company is really try to, to help teachers and students, and of course, schools and, and uh, administrators to, to kind of handle this change a lot better. Um, so what, what we kind of looked at is how do we do that, right? So obviously, it's got to be on a platform that can do everything, right? You don't want to jump around from, uh, you know, perhaps Google Docs into Zoom into other things, right? You, you want to do your best to keep it onto one system. Uh, and we think we've done pretty well with that. So from scheduling a lesson, building it to delivering all the way through the student feedback and then actually to be able to um, do engagement analytics, right, on, on how your students are engaged um, is very important. We, th we think we've done that uh, pretty well. So 
just moving ahead into uh, Zoom, right? So a lot of schools are using Zoom. Um, we've actually integrated it into um, the online lesson, as I'll show you in a moment. Um, but basically what we have there um, is this saves teachers time, right? So with Zoom auto-generated meeting links, um, you can, as you can see there on the left of the screen, you can just click on and join the online lesson and it'll go straight into um, the Zoom delivery. And this just makes it easier for, of course, uh, number one would be for students, right? To actually click and find um, their online lesson. And then of course, for your teachers to, to create these lessons and deliver them. Presentation mode. So a big thing is it's not always effective just to have great video conferencing um, and then, you know, the delivery is poor. So um, as I'll show you in the live demo, um, our built-in presentation mode allows teachers to present and screen share, right? Not only just, um, you know, just having a screen, but being able to manage um, your resources and so forth, as you can see on the left-hand side there, and then actually deliver it and have engagement with students. Um, so there is a presentation mode and we do have uh, basically let's call it online mode. Um, and presentation mode is where you can use a smart board, et cetera. Um, and then of course, online would be basically delivering uh, remote learning. So key chat, right? So a big thing we found is engagement with remote learning. Uh, it certainly is stressful for students, right? That, that at home, um, you know, maybe it's not very easy. It's not, a, not the best learning environment. They're used to learning in a classroom. Now suddenly they have to do it at home. Uh, not, not always the easiest thing um, to transition to. And what we really thought about is how do we drive that engagement? How do we let um, your students communicate with the teachers? You know, even if they're shy, if they maybe um, feel a bit uncomfortable or, you know, even such things, maybe technical issues, they don't disrupt the class. Um, and this is really where Cheek, uh, sorry, Key Chat comes in. So basically, we started with this idea of how do we centralize whole school communication? Okay, so it's not just helpful for, you know, one student to be able to communicate with um, the teacher, it's got to be holistic, right? So channel membership um, is, is a big one, right? So give, also give the power to the teacher um, in, in all sense of the word, right? Uh, and that's with um, everything from, you know, actually being able to mute students uh, you know, having censorship abilities. Um, and this is what we'd like to do is we'd like to collaborate for remote learning, right? So um, the student and the teacher is able to cross communicate right across the whole school. And hopefully what we've found is this, is that it really does um, provide social and emotional support, right? So um, as I mentioned before, they're most likely used to the classroom. Now suddenly it's very different for them, um, not easy. And we found that uh, whole, cool, whole school communication solution uh, really was helpful in this regard. Of course, available on the web, iOS and Android. Um, so very important, right? And it just gets out of those kind of email messaging to some that's more, more easy to collaborate, more easy to answer um, with the quick turnaround time. I did want to talk, I briefly mentioned Assess Prep, right? So we've just launched Assess Prep 2. Uh, this can be really, really helpful um, for schools who are doing remote learning and so forth. Um, so basically what this does, we have iP iPad and Chromebook support, right? So this is an online assessments um, software solution. So you can actually do video proctoring. You can take in handwritten submissions. And of course, it's optimized for mobile, right? So what does that look like? Um, basically, you can create interactive and dynamic assessments uh, using Assess Prep in ManageBack, right? So you can create uh, these assessments, right, with up to 15 types of questions to choose from, right? So your multiple choice questions, long answers, going all the way through to inserting table charts, um, sorting, graphing, etc. What we're launching soon also is uh, question banks, right? So that's very important. Um, for uh, your teachers, right, to be able to use those question banks to build up uh, their actual assessments. And of course, it's all aligned with the IB, right? So it's for uh, DP and MYP at the moment, and you can do uh, PYP assessments too. So 
not only can you create uh, these really effective assessments that align with the IB, what you can also do is then deliver them and invigilate them, right? So uh, from a dashboard, you can go in and monitor and manage assessments in real time, okay? With the live invigilator from your assess prep dashboard. Uh, what's great about assess prep too, as I mentioned, um, you can use single sign-on, right? Just to go from manage back into assess prep and vice versa using single sign-on uh, very easily. So you can actually also view student responses, right? As they write their answers, um, there's three ways that you can do uh, the delivery of these online assessments. Um, you can just do your normal browser, right? You can use, for instance, for homework, et cetera. Um, but when a student does exit that browser, uh, you'll get a note saying they've exited and they've actually got to say uh, why, right? Um, that's the secure browser. So sorry, there's um, basically uh, unlock browser, then lock browser, and then there's the lockdown app. Right, so the lockdown app is an actual offline app um, where students basically uh, download the app and then their test starts uh, and they're not able to access any other windows while they're doing it. Uh, and from the vigilation board, um, you can see you can actually have a camera uh, if you like to do that uh, live proctoring. Um, and you can see exactly their progress as they're going through. Um, as I mentioned before, they can upload uh, written submissions, right? So they can use a QR code to scan their written notes and upload it to the test. Um, and it just really does make those kind of things, uh, you know, such as online assessments, really that much easier to number one, create, deliver them, and then grade them. So we also have uh, automated grading for multiple choice questions. Uh, and then of course, report cards for that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm quickly going to jump into um, our live demo of the Manage Back online lesson solution. So I am logged in to Manage Back as an administrator. Um, you can also, there are various roles, right? So for instance, um, an administrator, which I'll show you now, a teacher, a student, and parent, right? So all of those users um, can access the site. And of course, they'll see different things. And it just really helps keep that uh, visibility with that student's learning journey. So here's the dashboard. Um, just on the left here, I mentioned before um, in my presentation that this is quite an uh, extensive system, right, to manage, uh, well, as a learning management system. So there are various things, right, um, that the system has that I won't show you today. Um, but let me just do give you a little bit of quick overview. So you can run everything, of course, the dashboard here, right, which is your, uh, you can see your unit calendars here, um, your next two weeks are below. And then of course, any tasks coming up, um, events and deadlines are there too. Okay, and your latest activity. Here on the dashboard is the homerooms, you can see reviews and progress, the student portfolios, uh, any kind of curriculum planning, right, that you're doing, um, of course, all aligned to the IB comes in, your guides and handbook to assist your teachers. And then of course, academics, right? Self-explanatory year groups, classes, groups. And then we have uh, the reporting, engagement and analytics, which I touched on um, earlier. And then of course, attendance manager, if you're using ManageBack for attendance. And I mentioned there are, of course, you can generate reports through ManageBack too. So what we're gonna show you now is the online learning solution. So let's just jump into a class. Let's go through to biology. Okay, so again, you can see what's happening for the next two weeks, right? Your upcoming events and deadlines. So what we really do try to do with Manage Back is to keep uh, the fundamentals of navigation the same, right? So, um, you know, we want to try and uh, let teachers, parents, students, and admin um, have the same feel, right? So, and of course, going through from different things. So you saw the dashboard. Now I'm in an actual uh, DP class um, and it's kind of keeping the same um, theme in a sense, right? So just that ease of navigation and just less clicks um, helps that kind of navigation of the site. So here's the overview. As I mentioned before, what I'm gonna do now is jump into tasks and units. Um, but as I mentioned before, there are further things, right? Internal assessment, grade book, attendance, um, where teachers can come in and actually um, take attendance, right? As you can see here, absent, present, 
Um, and these are all customizable um, as needed. Your messaging um, as it comes through, right, from um, either parents, other teachers or students, uh, the calendar, right? So this would be my, myself, and administrator, my calendar, uh, files and members, very easy to see there. Back to our tasks and units. I just want to jump into, so I'm actually going to go through to English literature. It's got a better online lesson for us to see and go into uh, short stories, which is below. So tasks and units. And let's go into our unit calendar short story. So you can see here too, the, the system is tracking, right? The unit calendar, um, you can see how much is um, complete, right? What's not complete. So very great visibility for, uh, you know, your IB, perhaps in this, in this case, your DP coordinators to see um, how everything's pro progressing, if there's any gaps, et cetera. And they can click through and see exactly uh, what's been done and what hasn't. So let's go through to our short stories unit and here we have a number of tabs that we can see right so uh, there's the planning the outline right very easy to see here exactly what's happening click through to those assessments and reflections etc uh, and i'm sure all everyone who's familiar with rb would know exactly uh, what's happening there and here as i mentioned before is the uh, short stories unit so I'm just going to jump into at a glance quickly because it's quite effective to see exactly what a parent sees, right? So again, um, with or without remote learning, it's pretty important for uh, you know to keep your parents involved in exactly what's happening with their child. Okay, so here they can see the short stories and contents. Um, this is all controlled, right? So of course, when you're planning and you're collaborating with other um, DP coordinators or other teachers. Um, for the DP, you can obviously cost collaborate very easily, um, but this is just giving a nice um, snapshot view of exactly what's happening with this unit for parents to view, right? So they can see the learner profile below, the approaches to learning here, IB assessment, it's got a nice cover page. So, you know, just kind of allaying, I, I won't say any fears, but just, you know, keeping your parents uh, engaged and uh, hopefully satisfied. So that was the at a glance view. Next is the planner. Okay, so this is where you can come in and actually do uh, your planning. So everything from your summary curriculum, right? I won't touch on this too much. Uh, ATL skills, etc. And as I mentioned before, please do reach out um, if you'd like to see more uh, of the curriculum planning and other things you've seen on the system. So now I'm jumping into streams and resources. And this is basically now uh, we're setting up for your online lesson, okay? So there's a number of things that are super helpful, okay? Uh, one is to add resources, okay? So you can easily add resources um, for your unit or your actual uh, lesson, right? So everything from a website or video, uh, link of files, photos, notes, and actual direct from Google Drive. Next, of course, is your assessment task, right? So if you do have any tasks for this, uh, you can come in and give it a title very easily. Go through to the units, choose the category. And of course, these are weighted um, as per your requirements. You can choose the type as a sum to informative, your details, student differentiation assessment, and additional options. Okay, all very easy to do. Uh, and of course, on the right hand side, you can see here there's uh, generally for everything, there's always a guide. Okay, so if you are stuck, if there's, if you need some help, um, we do have 25 support. And of course, uh, there's a lot of guides and references that you can use to navigate the site. Let's head back to uh, our streams and resources uh, and have a little bit more, a little bit in depth look at what's happening. Okay, so below, of course, are the lesson experiences, right? So uh, this can be chapters of a book, you know, per week, etc. However, you like to uh, divide your uh, plans up. There's your lesson experience, right? And they are below here as I'll show you how to upload them. So let's go through and have a look at creating a lesson experience. So let's do uh, test week, right? Uh, so here are the teacher's notes, right? And then here, this is visible to uh, students of parents. So 
as I mentioned before, in the at a glance view, right? That's just a snapshot for the parents. Um, this is what they'll be able to see here too. So just really helping keep that visibility um, and engagement with your parents. So that was the lesson experience. Um, and then here is the online lesson. So let's jump in there quickly and see how to create an online lesson. So again, there's some guides here, um, especially if you're using Zoom, for instance, or other meeting tools, right? Um, you can use those here very easily. So again, you can input your title. Uh, your unit, of course, is locked because you're building this lesson within that unit uh, and within that lesson experience. Your dates, right? You can very easily choose them on a calendar. Make sure that's in there. Okay. Um, your online lesson location. So I mentioned in my presentation, of course, we do um, integrate with Zoom, right? And that's it here. And of course, you can use other customized lesson links um, such as Zoom very easily here, right? So if you've got a personal Zoom or any kind of, as I mentioned, Google Meet, uh, Skype, et cetera, you can input that there very easily. Your details you can put here, right? So very importantly, your um, you can choose the members, right? So if it's a stand or high level, um, you can adjust that, right? Uh, and make sure that uh, this is publicized to the correct cohort of your students. And then there's various settings you can choose, okay? So there's, uh, for instance, to enable a student chat, right? Uh, as I mentioned before, key chat. Um, perhaps there are some lessons you don't want to have the chat. Um, that is something that you can, and the teachers can choose, right? To uh, include or not. And then your student notes, of course, they can make notes directly in presentation mode, right? Um, can be helpful there. And then of course, enable questions. So. Um, for instance, you know, if a student um, is a bit shy and maybe they don't want to uh, ask you a question verbally, they can always, you can always enable questions and then they can do that um, by messaging very easily. Okay, so that is creating your online lesson. Very easy to do that too. Um, and then let's just go into uh, an online lesson. So there's a couple of ways of joining online lessons, right? Um, you can do it via your calendar, okay? Um, or you can do it uh, via the actual task and unit. So let's just jump back into overview to show you a calendar. If I can find a lesson. It's a quiz. Okay, just wanna see where online lesson is here. Go through, back to short stories. Okay, sorry, the one thing I didn't say is that you can see uh, as before in the graph mode and also um, in the task and unit section is exactly what's completed, right? Uh, very easy to see there. I'm gonna jump into uh, your streams and resources to find us an online lesson. Go below here and let's go browse this one. It should be ready to go. Take a moment to load. And perfect. Okay, so uh, now this is basically in the view of a teacher delivering an online lesson. Okay, this is, of course, um, also what students would see um, as they log in, but let's see exactly how it's segmented. Okay, so um, there's basically three columns, right? So the one on the left, there's the basically the presentation window in the middle, and then the chat on the right. Um, so here are the resources you can easily see, right, and click um, and basically generate and have a great flow of your lesson through your resources. You can add more here um, as needed. As I mentioned before, you can add from existing or add new uh, resources there. And um, also basically give you the actual le uh, lesson experience, all the resources added into the stream, okay? So you can also filter these. Um, very easily and add additional resources as needed, okay? So in the middle, I mentioned before, is a presentation mode. So um, you're delivering this very easily. Students can then come in and actually um, give an understood and clear emoji, right? And then a confused one. So as a teacher, you can track that and you can see um, exactly what's going on. And then here, you can actually upload the recording, right? Once your online lesson is finished. Uh, and then in the... Uh, on the right-hand side here, sorry, 
um, is the chat, right? What we like to call um, key chat. So it's just loading now. Um, and this is very helpful, right? So as you can see, um, there's actually chat going on, right? So Sharon, Arisa, um, that is uh, the teacher here, right? So can, she's actually asking questions in the chat. You can see there's some understood on clear, some are confused. There's um, other emojis here that you can see here too, right? Um, and then you can actually have uh, a chat going on. You see Chloe's actually included some uh, links here and there's various emojis going on, right? So just bringing that collaboration and that, that engagement um, on the key chat really does help. Um, you can actually download these records as a teacher as needed um, there. You can also see the members right in here of uh, who is in your class. Um, and then here are the questions, right? So if, uh, unfortunately on this one, there are no questions, but if there are any questions that come up here, um, and basically that's how you'll be able to engage with your students. So just to quickly summarize, uh, this is the presentation mode, right? This is the online lesson mode. Very easy as a teacher to come through um, and add your resources, see your lesson experience right here, um, come through, deliver your lesson seamlessly um, through exact pain. This is exactly what your um, students are seeing. Go through, also be able to have a chat with students, see if they, sorry, just skipped ahead there, uh, back to the presentation view in the middle. Um, they can then say understood and clear or confused, right? So you might may want to, uh, you know, lower your speed as you're going through and make sure everyone's uh, understanding everything correctly. Then going through to the last, uh, the right-hand side panel, um, the chat, okay? And then through to uh, the members here, see exactly who's in your class, and then the questions. So just kind of giving you that, that flow, right, of exactly um, how an online lesson works. Uh, and hopefully you can see the benefit um, of using ManageBank. You can also, as I mentioned, upload right the recording um, and then distribute that as needed. It'll be also uh, included for students to view again. Um, so that was a very quick overview right, of our online lesson. Um, I hope you saw the journey of uh, Faria, right? So started just as a CAS manager, went through into ManageBank, which manages um, IB, right, all the IB programs, then Open Apply, Schools Buddy, a number of other products. And then finally, where we are now is able to deliver a very effective online lesson solution um, by integrating with Zoom um, and multiple other um, technologies to really assist the students, assist your parents, and of course, uh, teachers. I mean, as we spoke before, it's a testing time for many, right? And we just hopefully have made uh, the lives easier for a lot of those teachers, students, and parents. Um, what I'll do now is I'll open up the floor um, to questions. So please do, it'd be great if we could have a Q&A. I know a lot of people must have their experiences. And Adam, if you wanna, um, the moderator, Adam, if you wanna add any um, kind of reflections of what you've, uh, you know, kind of uh, experienced, right, with online learning or just, through um, using ManageBack yourself, please do feel free uh, to jump in. Yeah, ManageBack has really saved our school, uh, the, being a software as a service. Um, I can't imagine what we'd be doing without it. Um, so, so many good features and integrates well with everything else that we're doing. Um, my school uses Google and we were able to use that pretty effectively um, across, um, across, the, across the curriculum. Yeah, so uh, really good stuff. Thanks, Adam. Uh, do we have any questions uh, from any of the audience? Feel free to unmute yourself if needed and ask any questions. I guess I'd like to ask you, Adam, uh, how, many, how many years have you been using ManageBack and um, is, is the main thing you use it for just um, delivering or, or, or curriculum planning or do you use it for anything else at your school? Yeah, actually, I started using it way back when um, it was more common to be just the extended essay and the uh, service learning um, CAS, you know, it was, that was, that's actually my first experience with it. Um, okay. That's probably most teachers first experience with it. And then, um, and it was, it was, to me, it was like the way that all the, all the technology should be. So we kind of looked at, this is a school in China. So we looked at um, expanding our use into, into NYP and uh, DP. Um, and so, yeah, we, so we used, uh, used it for uh, reports, 
um, attendance and um, and, and uh, activities even uh, some yeah and um, so yeah so we use it for um, uh, for a variety of things also uh, as as time went on I I went to a bigger school and they okay. used Open Apply um, and there's there's a sync between Open Apply and Manageback which we rely on for helping us uh, manage our data across the system um, so that really works really well too yeah. And um, my school apparently is a, is a Google school. So we use it um, um, to, we basically, all the curriculum planning is all managed back because uh, it's, that's kind of the magic of, of, of it because uh, any IB practitioner or any other, any other system, there's so much documentation that we have to produce. And so we either could make a bunch of documents and then share them out with by email or something, but instead we use the software Solutions such as Managback to because um, it, it gives us the terms, the structure, the expectations um, to fill out the forms and the learning ex, the learning experiences that you showed, and then when we're done with the teaching the learning experience, then we have to reflect on the lesson. So there's, it provides us a way for us to do that. So yeah, so it houses our teaching and learning. Um, now some schools like mine decide to use Google Classroom or other things for kind of the day to day uh, interactions. Um, but some schools like uh, you've illustrated some, maybe those in China or um, they, anyway, they can, they can, you know, it's sort of the beauty of Matchback is it can be all in one, everything that you need is there. But if you also need it to talk to other, to do other things with other systems, it's, it is also possible to use it that way. Yeah. So that's basically how I do it. Okay. And, and how have your, your students and parents um, found Matchback? Because it's something that I know there are schools um, that, you know, maybe they do concentrate on mainly for, uh, assisting their staff members right and their teachers with for instance as you mentioned curriculum planning all the way through to reporting and attendance uh, and then of course there are other schools who really use it uh, to communicate with parents to keep them engaged uh, is that something you found at your school to be effective yeah definitely I mean I wouldn't it, it, you know I uh, my, my role in my, my school is the IT lead so I also mm -hmm. have to look at the help desk requests coming in and mm -hmm. I you know I rarely see any parents writing to say, I don't know how to use my manage back or something. I mean, we do workshops and we, you know, educate them, we upskill them. Um, but it's, you know, idiot proof, as I like to call it, it's, you know, you click, you see what's it there in front of you. Um, yeah. So, so, I mean, even if you have, well, if you know, if parents have multiple children, um, you know, there's an easy interface to switch in back and forth between the children. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And a lot of email communications um, coming in as well. Um, you know, there was a teacher sending a message to um, needs to communicate home. Um, you know, something maybe happens in lesson, like you forgot to do their work or um, there's behavior and management. Sure. So you can, you know, add a new behavioral incident and uh, you click the notify parents, you click it. And uh, I've, you know, within the hour, the parents are replying, <laughs> saying sorry about my child's behavior or whatever. So, yeah, so lots of, lots of ways to use it. Lots of um, good experiences with it. Sure, that's that's a good point. It's some we've also looked like uh, looked at from Faria, right? Just kind of um, getting that information through from you know notes in Open Apply, moving through to Manage Back, uh, and then through to Schools Buddy. So, for instance, um, you know if there's a tenant's note uh, in the morning in the homeroom, um, a child's left their bag at uh, at home, right? Their school bag, or uh, you know maybe doesn't have the right kit, then that uh, coach and schools buddy, of course, because uh, schools buddy manages activities, off school activities and sports, um, that coach will have that visibility, right? To see that uh, attendance mark or uh, as you meant, maybe a behavior notes, right? From manage back mm. um, or something like that. So uh, coming into 2021, especially uh, moving into the second half of the year, we're really trying to get all those systems um, to be you know, fully integrated. I mean, as you mentioned, uh, most of the systems are integrated, right? So open apply uh, and manage back and then manage back and schools buddy. Uh, and just to have that visibility, I think it's really important for staff members um, and parents, right? To be able to see across. Um, and then one of the exciting things we're actually doing too, uh, I don't know if you have any experience with this, um, Adam, of maybe parents having too many apps, right? To download, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually gonna have one app um, where the parents can do re-enrollment application, uh, see everything about the learning journey, and then of course pay for anything, see transport, and a calendar of everything. Right, so I think that'd be quite important. Uh, and of course, having one inbox. 
Yeah, and I mean, because like we, none of us like to do things more than once. Like it's if you're a parent and you need to tell the, the school something, you do it once. You send the email, and 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 then everything cascades from there. Uh, same as for teachers. I don't want to enter my lesson plans into two different places. I just have the one place. Um, and so like attendance, like if a student is not at the school, the activities, people also need to know about that. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're, they're absent for school that day, it, it cascades to the activities happening. So you mentioned Schools Buddy and uh, Schools Buddy is basically uh, a fire product that does activities and also does communications and busing mm -hmm. as well. So it's kind of a complete solution. Just so important, just enter it once. <laughs> let, let, the, uh, let the cloud figure out the rest, right? Sure, sure. Yeah, we have had, you know, stories of parents saying, oh, another app, right? Like another thing to do. And I mean, you know, we, we all have lots of apps on our, on our phones. You know, a lot of them are very, uh, you know, they're crucial to our lives, right? But I think to have one app where you can see everything is quite important, right? Make payments, have a look at calendars, uh, have a unified inbox uh, is really helpful. Have you ever had any feedback from parents on, you know, perhaps using too many systems or maybe systems not being the correct uh, build in any of your previous experiences? Yeah, not only parents, but also the board members. Um, this is a uh, number one request that they like, kind of like I was saying about one enter, entering data once it's uh, they just want one place to go. Um, yeah. uh, a, a kind of a, you know, the name of your school might be um, school. So it'd be like a my school app. And just mm -hmm. that one app where you can do all those things that you need to, to do. Yeah, definitely from the parents, the board. Uh, I don't think students, I think students are quite used to having lots of apps. So like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> they're a little digital natives that they are. It's but, exciting uh, yeah. for them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another app. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> mm. Great. Perfect. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I want to thank everyone for their time. Um, if there are any questions, please let me know. Um, please do reach out to me too. Um, there's the email there, right? You can reach out to me um, at eventsforedu.com. Um, and please do, if you're on the conference uh, Hoover um, app, please do message me there. Beginning some great messages so far, um, asking more about online learning and so forth. So feel free um, to, to reach out to me. And again, if you want to see any of the um, things I showed you, right? Uh, you know, it's, it's quite difficult to, you know, give a quick snapshot of Manage Back. I hope you got an idea of how, easy it is for students to view online lessons and then for teachers to create them and deliver them right i hope that was helpful to everyone um, and i do appreciate your time so have a great weekend uh and thanks so much thank you very much jonathan and thank you adam as well that was great thanks for your input thank you bye-bye bye thank you